Welcome back to the quest for the low stress leaderboards, where I build bridges that have low stress to try to protect the safety of the people that drive on them. We got 45% stress, which is top 3%, but I'm going for at least top 100, if not better. And this is a jump that I actually have to build myself. I don't know if I want to change the roads yet. Obviously, that will be an important part, but like if I could do a cable muscle because that was very stressed and then just like an additional steel down below, how bad does that really get? Oh, that makes the road and steel quite bad. So that likely tells me I need to change up the roads. I changed up the road slightly and now at least we don't see any scary super high numbers, but it is still top 3% because all the stress goes to the steel, but notice the cables just stopped caring. Wait, so if I remove this, how much stress is going to the cable then? Okay, that's a little bit better distributed, but now a bit more stress is going to the road. It's tough to win, but it is top 500-ish. This is the part I wanted to avoid, but I basically just gotta redraw the roads. And my issue with that is that it means building the roads further out, which is a lot harder to support. I don't have rope, I have to go with cable, and then suddenly this costs a ton of money. And it probably will push back on the road all the same. In fact, it's worse, it's way worse because there's so much weight wanting to basically swing in clockwise. that even if I push this up with steel, it's still gonna have a very similar issue. So the three road solution is kind of ideal. If I want, I can brace the steel as low as one steel will let me. Of course, that still puts stress on the road, but I think it's better. Top 1% now. See, the issue is that the first two roads are still just taking too much stress. So I'm wondering like if I brace those with the steel, how much better will it do? Well, the roads don't get that stressed anymore, but I do see a cable has taken a big hit. And I mean, this can probably just be two cables. I imagine it'll distribute it evenly, and yeah, I don't see anything above 23%. Not damn, nearly top 50. Now we got us a bridge. Most stressed is this steel underneath, which I want to see if I do just a little bracket of wood here, if that helps the cause at all, even slightly. Oh, it makes the wood itself stressed. Right, that is a thing. What if I did road? Road can be compressed. Every time, it's worse. It's impressive, actually. Um, actually, screw that. If I do a wood truss on top, that could have the same purpose. Just taking a bit of stress off the road. Oh, and the steel. Nothing on over 20. Ooh, speaking of 20, that's top 20. Damn, this all reinforced. Well, the two most stressed pieces are the two steels. They were designed that way to take the hit. Now, that's what we call a good, safe bridge. The car's not safe, but that's not the point. It was never about saving lives. It was about protecting our assets. That being said, there is some merit to just smoothing out the roads because that's a three rotor for 17% and it's got nothing fucky. Here we got a standard bridge with a support on the rock and with only road and wood. I legit think that driving on the rock is the future. It's what the children need. And there is some logic behind this. You see, the best design for low budget can often, not always, but often, be expanded into a great design for low stress because it is the easiest design to simply dump more money into. Now, I'm sure this won't be without its shortcomings, but I just want to see, does the idea make any sense at all? Because then, if so, I could go crazy on, like, wood muscles and maybe slightly different braces, and I still have a lot of money to work with, so it's really easy to just reinforce the bad stuff. And I mean, right away, I'm just gonna stop you right there. I already understand that you just need more support from the bottom. And I mean, again, this is the only beginning. Once we get to like the deep, deep parts of the leaderboard, then I could see like refining angles and whatnot. But right now, I just wanna get a good baseline, huh? 50th place is my baseline. Nice. So unfortunately, the most stressed pieces are the stabilizers here. Well, I wonder then, can I just continue the wood truss? Uh, for cost? Let me just try one side, see if that helps. I mean, immediately that helps the left side, right side. Well, I mean, I'm 39% stressed now. That is better. 38th. And now it is over budget. But now let's see if I can just lower the trusses until I get there. Maybe try to create a good wood arch. I wonder if these pieces are needed or if they're just stabilizers. Ooh, already pretty happy about that shape. Although the right side truss is just, wow. I also was over budget without realizing it still. Does this one wood piece help? Does that mag magically make the big truss on the right side do better? No, it's, it's bad. Hold on then. This was bad. Let me see this. Where's the big scary numbers? Okay, so... Having the truss connect all the way is a bad thing. Noted. Uh, what if I even take this truss and lower it? Is that a big deal? 
because it doesn't seem like it was even up there in stress at all. Now it is a little bit, but that's hardly a thing. Oh, it's even better, 34th? I mean, frankly, if I could just have the entire stress of the bridge prowl through this area, why not just prop it up with more wood? Because uh, then the left side, I guess, would have problems, but the right side is damn near fixed. For the record, adding this piece back doesn't really change much, right? In fact, it makes it worse, so that can get the same treatment as the other side. You find the important angle of the bridge, and you make sure that it gets as much support as it'll let me. And I think we're gonna then be going back to, like, stabilizers or... Other parts being the most stressed. Yeah, it looks like the most stressed was this right side stabilizer. 32nd. We're seeing a few other that are pretty close. Let me just see something. There's no way that road is better at tension than wood, right? In the other games, it wasn't, but in this game, it just straight up is. Huh. 29th. Well, now I can just raise the truss here until I'm out of money. Then if I want, I can lower the truss elsewhere to help me spend more money on raising this truss. A truss for a truss makes the whole whole world the triangles. Oh, that's beautiful. Anything notable here? No, nothing on the right side. 33%. I wouldn't mind a top 20 again. However, the most stressed is now a road piece. By quite a bit, unfortunately. If I were to take this road piece and almost angle it up so it's a bit of an arch. Just wanted to see. That does make it worse. What if I made it a little longer? Yeah, that helps out quite a bit to just transfer stress to another area. These two woods are the inheritors of the stress loan, but I can only reinforce them so much. But they seem like they should be fixable. I mean, this is one easy way to just reinforce it better. And then let me bump it a bit higher. But it is expensive, gotta beware. Do I need this little wood piece here? I know I'm still over budget, but I just want to see how this compares. The left side looks immaculate, except for that one piece. Right side is fantastic. This piece hurting. I don't like it. Does that mean I have to keep this truss up? Yes, it does. However, if I center this road in the joints, it doesn't save much money. I just want to check to see how that affects the cost or the stress. It affects it wonderfully. All right, can I save $700 somewhere? What if I get rid of this and just bump this out, make this wood, and do something more like this? That wouldn't be too smart, right? That works way better than I could have expected. I wonder if I can save money through this truss. Almost setting up um, just something that has fewer pieces. Same old arch. It might just be the same stress distributed among fewer pieces. Uh, is that at least a little better though, 33%? It's my new best, only by a little bit. Ooh, well, a little tweaking got me to low 32%. Really small movements. I'd like to get top 20. I think I can do it. Although all the stress is in this cheap arch. I guess I could still make the left side a bit more stressed in order to be able to reinforce the right side. Every little bit counts in that avenue. Oh, I'm <laughs> a tenth or a hundredth of percent off of 20th. This can be done. Oh, that's a clean bridge. Was that 31% on the nose? Nice, top 20. I wonder if the rock support was right. There's another 31% stress one that is just the straight road, and it has money left over, and it's really simple. Interesting. Oh, and a 26% that is a straight road, and this is more fully optimized. Yeah, so driving on the rock just wasn't the move. Surprised I did so well with it. This will be interesting for low stress. A one-sided brace? I mean, this is probably 99% stress because I optimized the hell out of it. Oh, it's 96% stress. Interesting. But because I optimized the hell out of it, I think I did work really hard on the roads. I may need to retweak the roads, but I feel like the roads were almost ideal. I also know that because I have steel, I should actually use it. Just bump everything down as far as it'll let me. Replace things with steel and we'll start from here. So how much better is this already? A lot. A lot better. But... Clearly, there's just a really easy solution that everyone got. Maybe just the easiest solution is the low-stressed one. Well, I can always just make my life easier by adding more steel. I mean, it's pretty easy to replace these, and I still have money left over, so I might as well just start with that. That probably leapfrogs a ton of people. Yeah, it does. 63rd. Most stressed now is a steel. I could take that steel, bump it down a bit, because now I can make a more complete arch. It's a bit more properly curved. Oh, uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful one. 35th, already below 20% stress. 
Now, the fact is, I want the steel to be lower, but one wood doesn't do it. But what I could just do is dangle a couple woods. Use that to help me get low. Only issue being, it's pretty expensive. And this is as far as budget will let me get, but I'll tell you right now, that's a major improvement. 13th place. I could get top 10 on this, right? Well, the right side is worse than the left side because it's not as low. Oh, but this wood right here is kind of eating it. I wonder, actually, if I take this wood, move it over. Does that actually improve things? No, it doesn't. It was perfect that way. What if I just take the road and move it down? Well, that probably still puts even more stress on the wood itself. But maybe I need the best of both worlds. I could be vertical and a bit more bumped up. That is better. So the most stressed is this wood piece here. If I take it and move it in, does that make it better? I believe so, but I think it transferred stress over to the steel at the bottom. So if the most stressed piece is this steel, I assume it gets the most stressed when it's at the very tip of its jump. Because it has like the most leverage on the steel at this point. So I almost wonder if it's any closer. If it's closer in, it would probably have less leverage and therefore less stress, but it might not make it. And yeah, you can see the stress number's lower, but the car still makes it all the same. So I'm gonna keep messing with that. Ooh, that was pretty nice. 15.4%. I still gotta shave off a whole percent, but I mean, I'm on to something. It also seems to make everything else just a touch better. Well, I imagine, also because I have extra money now due to having shaved the road, I can put that elsewhere. Oh, I don't even see 15%. Oh, I might not see a working bridge. Oh, that is as close as it gets. I think the left side's more stressed now. Well, it's the steel, so I guess I could do the same thing here. It's 15 flat, but... Oh, close landing. It's better. Oh, is the right side worse again? How about this? How about I save a bit more money on the left side by reducing leverage, also making the bridge better, and then maybe I could use that to improve the left or right side? And actually, maybe I should do the same on the right side, like make sure the car is like crawling to the flag. Uh, that's crawling. It does make it pretty stressed, but if I bump this down, bump this down. Okay, took a lot of pixel tweaking, got to top 10, but... I don't think I'm gonna actually go for a specific position again because it really does just boil down to pixel tweaking at the highest level. There is one easy optimization I can make and it's that the right side is cheaper than the left side, but like a good hundred. If I just copy pasted it, would we see it working the same? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. I didn't know. <laughs> he liked this, the bridge so much, he had to drive on it twice. Bolly Bridge, what are you doing? <laughs> you ruined my stress. Okay. <laughs> Can I figure out why that's happening? Look, all right, so it lands weird, and then, it, like, the wheel clips into the side. It decides it's gonna hang out there, and then suddenly... Boing! <laughs> like, it leverages itself, launches backwards. And I mean, the bridge is fine because, you know, it's a very sturdy bridge. This is why I build it for circumstances such as this. But the poor bastard doesn't have enough speed built up, so he's not making it to the flag again. Beautiful. Only a top 10 stress bridge. Nowhere else. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More low stress coming soon. Hope you all have a wonderful day and peace.